Uh, Amy, I was in the Supreme Court. I'm an intervener in that case. And Monsanto does not have a patent on BT cotton. And the Supreme Court did not give it a patent on BT cotton. The only way it could have done it is by striking down India's law, Article 3J of our patent law. And I had a role with our parliament to shape the amendments after the WTO trips forced us to amend our laws. 3J says plants, animals and seeds are not human inventions. Therefore, they are not patentable because a patent is only granted for that which is invented. So what is the BT cotton? There are only two kinds of GMO seeds that account for most genetically engineered crops around the world. One is a family of crops called BT crops, like BT cotton. What does BT stand for? Bacillus thuringiensis, a soil organism which produces an endotoxin which becomes a poison only in the gut of the caterpillar family. But in the plant, it's a ready-made toxin with a very broad spectrum of harm. And it's supposed to be a pesticide producing plant. In fact, in the United States, it was approved as a pesticide. As a pesticide producing plant, every cell of the plant is releasing a toxin at very high levels. It's supposed to control the bollworm pest. The bollworm has become resistant, which is in the nature of evolution. Life evolves to overcome threats. And the BT does not, BT cotton seed does not have a patent for the simple reason our laws don't allow it. Monsanto was illegally collecting royalties via Indian uh, uh, seed companies. Because they couldn't do what they did in this country, which is sign licensing agreements directly with the farmers. In India, they signed the licensing agreements with the companies with the lie that they had a patent. They cited the US patent, but India is a sovereign country and patent laws are sovereign laws. When they wanted to extract more royalties and the price of seed jumped 80,000%, this is the main reason why the suicide belt of India, where now 310,000 Indian farmers have committed suicide, it overlaps largely with the cotton belt. And 99% of the cotton seed is controlled by Monsanto. We have an antitrust case in the Indian Competition Commission saying 99% seed is a prima facie monopoly. 80,000% jump in seed and it doesn't work to control the pests. Farmers got into debt. That's the driver for farmer suicide. When the Indian companies said, we can't keep paying, our farmers are dying. We can't extract more royalties. Monsanto sued them using patent law, infringement. That's when I was involved. I was called to intervene in the High Court and then I intervened in the Supreme Court. The attempt of Monsanto was to knock down India's law. They failed. The dis, it's the control over media and that's why it's so important to have democracy now, Amy, because the media is so totally in the hands of the poison cartel. They lied about what happened in the Supreme Court that day. What they happened? lost. No, the Supreme Court said, you go back to trial. It's between two of you. It's not an issue of us knocking down the law. They wanted to declare the genetically engineered BT as a chemical for which they wanted a product patent, which means wherever it would have existed, it, no matter where, it would have been their property. And the existence of BT in the seed would have been an infringement of their patent. They totally lost with their agenda. and. The only way Monsanto has functioned anywhere in the world, whether it be Brazil or Argentina or in their attempt in India, is illegally. They are not just trying to shape law when they didn't, don't get their way. They, they changed the WTO system by saying, we are the patient, diagnostician, physician, all in one. We have to prevent farmers from saving seeds. That's what shaped my life. That's why for 31 years I've been saving seeds and started enough that. Well, buy up everyone things they began starting with aspirin, they began for Hitler's Germany main, making Xylon B, the gas that was used to kill millions in the concentration camps. They were part of R.G. Farben. R.G. Farben was the cartel that was tried at Nuremberg. One of Bayer's inventions is heroin. 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 And it was called heroin because it made you feel like a hero. Nothing one future program you could do, Amy, is how the devastation of our societies, how the destruction of the economy of Mexico has created the drug trade, how the devastation of rural 
America, as well as the unemployment in the industrial belt, has created the opiate crisis. How Punjab, the land of the Green Revolution, 75% youth are now drug addicts. So buy a bought out Monsanto. Buy a bought. So Monsanto today is buyer. And it's a German company. But these are global companies. They have no home, they have no loyalty, they are accountable to no citizens. All of them work through tax havens. Uh, you know, if you know, I, I think it's, um, which is the place in America that's a tax haven where all of the companies are registered? Delaware. Delaware, all of, including Monsanto. So Monsanto was bought out by Mons uh, buyer for the simple reason that they wanted to erase the name of Monsanto, which has become such a dirty name. But when I did this book, Oneness was was it the one percent? I wanted to really figure out, you know, what are the stocks, what are the ownerships. That's when I realized that the majority stocks in all the corporations that rule our world are owned by the investment funds, which is where the billionaires stock their money. The biggest BlackRock, the second biggest Vanguard, they were nothing till the 2008 Wall Street disaster. Last year, BlackRock was $6 trillion, $6 trillion. They lost 30%. With one case of Monsanto's Roundup Ready causing cancer, it's a Californian case of Dwayne Johnson and the jury ruled that... The Roundup Ready is the pesticide. Roundup is the, the herbicide that kills everything, but it has been known by the World Health Organization to be a carcinogen. Monsanto attacked the World Health Organization, like they attack me, like they attack anybody who speaks the truth and does good science. But a Californian jury has ruled. And the day the ruling came, Bayer lost 35%. So when people feel, oh, these guys are too powerful, I say, they're just three. We are 300 million species. We're 7 billion people. We are more. And secondly, they are a bubble that has exploded with fictions of financial multiplication, with rent collections. Basically, Monsanto and Bayer are nothing but rent collectors. They are the life lords of today, like feudalism had the landlords. They do no work. They do nothing. They don't breed seed. They make poison and they collect rents. I think we need a better world in terms of how we grow our food.